Hey YouTube and yeah, I don't know what I was about to say. So um I finally got a break, my own space, and I'm back at it again with a back at it again. And that is a mother story time. It's story time night. Okay, no. You know, but it's still I'm about to, you know tell you a story time of my first year at college oh my gosh this is the raw no filter truth about what it's like your first time at college on campus going to a college mind you hbcu not knowing anybody now, this is the experience of somebody who's already, number one, an introvert, and number two, um, just not knowing nobody. Like, going to a college where you're an introvert already and not knowing anybody, because I feel like a lot of people when they go to college, at least is what it seemed like to me. You know, when I was, like, in high school or whatever, and the reason why I got this on is because it is nighttime, like I told y'all, so... After this, it's about to be bedtime. I'm about to go nighty night. But anyway, um, yeah. So when I was in high school, I was applying to different colleges and stuff like that. And I realized, okay, I'm going to go to, um, well, it's not I wanted to go to HBCU. It just so happened that the college I wanted to go to was an HBCU. So let me just say that. And I don't have nothing against HBCUs. I don't have nothing against no colleges. I'm actually glad that I end up, God ended up choosing me to go to the path to go to HBCU. So I feel like that really helped my growth in everything. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is that I felt like when I was in high school, everybody and their mama, I felt like, like, it's like, okay, they was going to that school because their friend went to that school and it's like they was already it's like certain people was already going to colleges but like they knew somebody at like their friend was gonna go da 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 but I picked a college where I felt like where I felt like if I didn't know somebody in the class that was going there I wasn't really like friends with them or cool with them and it's kind of like okay I'm from New Jersey right and so I moved to North Carolina, like towards the end of my high school year. So it's like, in the end of my high school year, it's like, like when you move in your junior and senior to a whole new college, I mean, um, school, I mean, yeah, you can still make friends and depending on how you are, but because I'm an introvert and I like, it's kind of like, I'm the type of girl where it's like, you have your two main friends, your three main friends, or your four main friends. And y'all just be like clicked up. My main three, four friends or five friends or whatever the case was, was in New Jersey. So it's like I went to a whole new state or whatever, nowhere near where I could go to school with them. Cause I, I, my mom didn't want me to do out of state. My parents really didn't want me to do out of state because that's expensive. And the place I really wanted to go out of state was California. I'm glad I really didn't choose that because that's maybe me just dream. I just want to be in California, not necessarily... Oh, I love the, I love the college. So really know where you're applying to, number one. Like seriously. But yeah, you're just going there. I just went there and I know I'm really a lot of people. <sighs> so my college, like how most colleges, as a freshman, you can't have your first car. You can't bring your car. Number one, um, for me, I was kind of a late bloomer where I didn't have my license or a car anyway because I wasn't in rush to get my license. I wasn't. It just wasn't a priority for me. But that could be a bummer for freshmen. It's like, not having a car, so you got to spend money on Uber. And depending on how your parents' bank account is set up, your bank account set up, or however you get into college and how you're already paying for that, that can suck because you know that means you're walking. And mo that also means that you can't go to certain places like to eat that you really want to go. You have to freaking eat the cafeteria food, which, mind you, um, that shit made me use, like, poop all the time. I don't know. Like, majority of the time, that made me poop. 
Like, I don't know what it is. Like, the cafeteria food does not level up um, as you go. But I also... I also think it's because outside of HBCU. So I'm thinking, okay, it's college. Even though it's like a called a cafeteria, it's like not a really a cafeteria. It's like, you know, next level, like, you know, bougie. You almost feel like it should be like a little restaurant feel, like a nice hangout. No, no. And it's like, not only that, but like a lot of majority of the freshmen, we get like a, um, we get the, a lot of them get the dorms where it's like, you, you got to walk out in the hall to the bathroom and it's like a community bathroom, which sucks, like, ew, like, so you tell me I got to walk in the hall in my robe and if I don't do that, I got to get changed in a little saw bathroom, like, I really did that, like, like, wow, like, like, is this life? Like, this is what I, I went from living in my parents' house, have my own room, have my own da 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 to this, like, that sucks. And then it's like, God, that sucked. And then on top of that, with my situation, it's like, I had a roommate who smelled like no other. Like, literally would be all up in my, like, we already shared the room. Your bed right here, my bed right here. We already seen each other, like, like this. So it's like, I don't need to see you like this and smell you like this. Like, can you please keep your odor to a minimum like turn that shit down like that that oh my gosh oh my gosh like i i totally i can't like just be like and then go to bed like that y'all like when well, i be telling y'all like it be different like okay you, you smell like that or whatever because you're doing this and this during the day or whatever i'm not gonna judge a person that's being smelly if they take a shower because like you're high be you're, you're paying attention to your hygiene this girl did not pay attention to her hygiene and she would go to bed like that and still be trying to say hi and talk to people for in the face. It's like, girl, you stink. Like, I'm I'm sorry. I cannot be somebody's friend. And they don't care about themselves. Like, like not caring about your hygiene. <laughs> not caring about your hygiene is not caring about yourself. I'm sorry. It's bad. Like, you got to take care of your hygiene, like, for real. I can't even be cool with you, hug up on you. I'm damn sure not hugging up on you. That's, like, not even a question. But, like, come on now. Like, you got to care about yourself, baby girl. Care about yourself. So care. Okay, so my camera died. So I got to make this quick. Okay. But, yeah. So, yeah, I just had, like, a horrible experience. It's, like, then I was, um, I was with my boyfriend so but he didn't go to the college that i went to so he was like back at home so i was even more like depressed my first year because like i didn't know anybody um i wasn't with my boyfriend i had a i thought okay well I'm, you know you get a roommate you're gonna be a friend of roommate you know you hear the roommate stories where oh i'm a freshman i mean i'm best friends with my roommate da, 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 da. didn't happen for me so i'm like oh my gosh and then like like, so, it was, like, all, like, bad. So, but, you know, so, I was, like, a little. So, yeah, so, I was a little bit depressed or whatever. But, I so I was, like, you know what? I already know, like, the key to that, I mean, because I'm smart. The key to that is, you know, just join team. Join join something. Like, do something. Join a club. You know, something that you're going, you're going to like doing. So, I did cheerleading because I used to love cheer and why not so i decided to do like this like cheerleading team and they had two cheerleading teams one that was like for the school for the university another one that was like i guess it wasn't for the university but we still cheered at basketball games i don't know don't get me the line but so yeah i was part of that one the one that was like official but not official and that team had drama because people didn't like the captain and then they want to, because I'm, like, small and petite, they want to make me the flyer. And I'm, like, okay, y'all keep dropping me. And then, like, I'm scared to go up there. They say, tighten your legs, do all this other stuff. And, yes, I was successful at, at doing doing it sometimes. But I don't like being thrown up in the air and y'all catching me. Like, I just didn't like that. And it would force me to do that. And then slowly people started just quitting the team and just, I gained some friends from that. But... It turned out that I feel like 
it was just one of those situations where it's like I was cool with them but then I felt like they were cool they were only cool with me for convenience if you know what I mean like you know how like Okay, yeah, so me and this person are talking, so I'm just going to be, be friends with somebody else. And then once me and that person are good again, I'm probably going to not be as cool with that person. It felt like a little bit like that. And it wasn't, man, that was just probably me because honestly, even like a year or two after that, when we both off, off for the squad, like they still try to reach out to me and stuff like that. But it just wasn't the same as when they weren't cool with this certain person. So it was just like a little odd. <sighs> It was just a roller coaster my first year. And then I joined, um, joined. I was forced to do like, you know, math and I hate math. And I did it at 8 a.m. And I, you should never sign up for 8 a.m. classes because your 8 a.m. classes is never like how it is at high school, which I thought, where it's like, okay, I'm already used to getting up at seven something and being, you know, I'm already used to first period or first block and stuff like that, whichever one you have. So why not do at 8 a.m.? Like, that just makes sense. You can bang it out the way. You're already used to it. Get up, da da da. And when you're on your own schedule and it's not, see, with high school, it's like once you're at school, you're straight at school. It's consistent. And then you go home and you get to nap and stuff like that. With college, because of how certain classes work, you don't have all, you might have like four classes. And all your four classes are not back to back. So what happens is you may have a class at 8 a.m. from, from, from 9, 8.15 to 9.15. And then a class from 9.30 to probably 10.45, right? So those classes are kind of back to back. They give you 15 minutes to walk from your classroom from, from here to here. And depending on how far it is away from the campus, like, not far away from the campus, but, like, when you're on campus, when you live on campus, your classes between each other can be really far, especially if you have a car and you got to find parking. But if you're a freshman, you don't have to worry about that. But it's a lot of people that aren't freshmen, and they do have to worry about that because when I used, got my car and I finally got to drive it on campus, I had to worry about parking, and that shit is no joke. I'm trying to find parking and then trying to be on time to your class. That means you got to leave way earlier. And that 15 minutes is much needed. Sometimes you need 20. So, yeah, 15 minutes, that's 15 minutes leeway. So you got those two classes back to back, but then you won't have another class until like, to so that class end at 1045, you won't have another class until like three or two. So then what do you do during that time? You either hang out with your friends, you either nap, you either go to your room, just chill out, whatever, da da da. During that, break time must i say that can make you late to your next class make you just skip your next class because you was taking a good on that and you don't feel like getting up it just makes you procrastinate and it makes you like uh i don't feel like getting up so my 8 a.m it's kind of like because you know, you kind of have that schedule we have gaps when you wake up in the morning and depending on your homework or how long you were staying up it's really hard and because, like, you're living your own life, like, of course, it's not, like, the exactly the real world, as they say it, but you are on your own, so you literally get to do whatever you want to do. You don't got nobody monitoring you and making sure you go to bed at a certain time. You eat what you got to eat. You, you go to, you know, you go to places or whatever. So I would probably never do that again. I'm so glad I passed math. Blessfully, like, thank, I'm so thankful. Because, boy, oh boy, did I not want to complete math. I've cheated my whole way through that. Yes, I can say that. And I will say, during your freshman year, you better know and get used to all these group me's that you should be joining if you haven't been joining. Try to figure it out. Create one. Suggest it. If it's not suggested or if it has been suggested, join it because they get the test answers out. I was one of them that helped people get the test answers out. And I also took test answers from other people and blase blase. We did it all the time and it helps. Not sure if that's an HBCU thing because we all black, we all cool. But I would probably recommend that, especially if you're a person of color. But yeah, so if y'all have any questions, leave comments down below. I got to get to it. It's late. My phone is it's dying. Camera been dying. And it's telling me to lock and load it and let's go. So, therefore, 
um good night i'll catch y'all on the next one and leave some comments or questions below if you have any college or questions or answers any um comments about this current story time i said and yeah so bye